Hello and welcome back to this channel. So in today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and illustrate this simple envelope in Adobe Fresco. So let's just get started. So recently I've seen that a lot of people who watch my Adobe Fresco videos are actually complete beginners. So I thought why not make a beginner friendly, absolutely simple watercolor based illustration in Adobe Fresco. So we'll be using some kind of a texture. By the way, if you want this texture and the color palette, you can find them both in the description box below. So go ahead and download it first. So once you have them on your iPad or any device that you're using Fresco on, let's go ahead and start illustrating. So I'm going to click on create new. I'll go into print and I want the small postcard, but I want this in the landscape format. So I'm going to click on this tiny arrow here and click on switch to landscape. And after that, I'm going to just click on it. All right, so let's go ahead and bring in our color palette. The color palette that you have downloaded will be in your gallery or photos option. So it's just an image by the way. So we're gonna go ahead and bring that image into our canvas. So you can do that by clicking on this image icon here, going into photos and then pick the colors that you want or the image that you have, click and bring it in. Once you have it, click on done. So now you want to choose these colors and add them to your palette. Unfortunately, there's not an easy way to do it. I mean, there's an option to do it through Adobe color and things like that, but we're not going to go ahead and check that now. But instead, I'll show you a very simple way in which you can get these colors into this artboard. You just have to make sure that you're on one of these three brushes. Doesn't matter which one. Click on the color until you see this icon and you see that this color gets selected here. Now, whatever brush you're on, just scribble on your artboard it creates a new layer so what this does is if you click here and go to recents this is all where your color palettes are this might be empty for you i got this all through my library or adobe creative cloud library so ignore that go to recents and you'll see that color over here so let's go ahead and add all these colors to this once you have added all the colors click and click on delete layer and this one, we're going to click on this eye option here to hide it. Okay, so now let's start illustrating. So the main brushes that I'm going to use for this illustration is one, which is like a fake watercolor brush. And that is called as color fill. You can find it under painting and color fill. So if you click on the star over here, it shows up under your favorites, by the way. So you can do that. So you have all your favorite brushes easily accessible. And one more thing you need to know is two finger tap is undo and three is redo. You can also use these buttons over here, by the way. The other brush that I'm going to use is actually the basic pencil that if you go into sketching, you'll see the pencil and I'm going to be using that brush for sketching. So this brush has a unique property that is if you use your brush straight, it's going to give you straight lines. If you do like this, you know, you can kind of sketch it in like this. Okay, I'm going to undo that. All right, so let's begin. First of all, let's go ahead and make some flowers. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go into painting and choose my color fill. And the brush size is set to 150. I'm going to choose a different color. I want this bright, bright red. Let me look. Okay, this looks okay. Uh, you can actually increase this size. You can actually move it like this to increase it or click and hold and it gives you a keypad and where you can type in. Okay, and I think I'm going to keep it at 200. Let's check it out. That looks good 200 looks good or maybe 150 i think 150 is okay so when i say a number like 150 or 200 it does not mean that you have to keep it at exactly 150 or 200 you can just choose a number which is very close to that range so my flow is at 78 and my smoothing is at one so flow is actually you can keep it at 50 as well it's totally up to you maybe make it 75 or anything so let's go ahead and draw some flowers now. So the first one is I want to make sure it's all nice and round. And now when I lift up the brush and try to draw again, it's going to create that unique overlap. You see, it's a fake watercolor brush, like I told you. So I'm going to go ahead and make one more here, which looks like a flower. I'm going to make one more, a big one. So don't lift your brush in between when you're making one petal. Okay, you should do that when you're making separate petals like this. So my flower is basically, let me just show you, around like this and like this, like this and like this. It's pretty simple. You don't have to actually make it like this, just make a blob. It still looks nice, 
For example, I'm just going to make a blob here like this. There you go. And this also works in a way that more pressure you add, the more colorful it becomes. And if you add less pressure, it becomes very light, which is really important to know. Hmm? Now I'm going to add one more here. See how light my pressure is? And I'm going to add one more here like that. And I think my flowers are okay. Maybe I want to move this one a little over here. So you can do that by clicking on the lasso tool and make sure you're on this first option right here. You can just go ahead and draw around this flower. And when you do that, this gets selected and you might not see your selection in this mode. It could be marching ends, something like this. This is just an option or a preference. You can use anything selection overlay or marching ends. You don't need to, it, it gives the same effect actually. So click and select whichever you want. I'm going to use that. I'm going to click on transform and now I can move this wherever I want. I'll just move it here and click on done and next deselect. Now I'm going to do the same thing for this one as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and click, click on transform and move it a bit closer, a little bit like this, I guess, or maybe like this. Okay. That looks good. Click on done and then deselect. Now it's time to go ahead and add some greens to this. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this color over here. If you want more details on the color, you can click on this HSP slider and it'll show you the hue saturation brightness or HSP that is 169, 93 and 63. I'm going to uncheck that. Now go back to your brush and you can use any brush that you want over here as well. I'm going to go into my sketching and I'll choose the pencil brush and I'm going to go ahead and draw some things like this like that and maybe one like that this one as well like this maybe like that and then like this okay that looks good now i'll go ahead and use the color fill i'll go to my favorites by the way it's easier for me and maybe reduce the size to about 96 and make a thing like this Maybe like that. You can reduce it further, 60s, so that it's easier. Yeah, it's much easier if you reduce it to a lot, okay? And let's make some leaves. You can overlap it like that. Now let's reduce the size to about 22, I guess. Yeah, I think that looks good. And now I'll add some lines like this. Okay, I think that looks good. And now let's go ahead and add some browns to it. So let's go ahead and choose this brown that we have. This is a golden brown that we have. And I'm going to go ahead and add some lines like this. So it's just going to be a reed or reeds or whatever and let's add that. I don't want it above the leaf so I'm going to go ahead and add it like that. I think that's okay. You can make the brush a little bigger if you want. Okay, I think I'm happy with my flowers. So now it's time to go ahead and actually create some more of this or maybe make an envelope, right? But let's go ahead and duplicate this first because we need multiples of it. So click and click on duplicate layer. And now I'm gonna go ahead and click on this transform tool and slowly bring this up here like that. Something like this. You can also use this to turn by the way, like that. I'm just going to keep it at whatever and click on done. And it says it will cut things out of the canvas. That's okay because we know what's going to happen. And don't worry, we already have a copy of it here. So I'm just going to hide that. Now this is perfect. Let's go and draw the envelope now. So we want the envelope to be either bottom of this layer or above. It doesn't matter. So click on a new layer. Let's go ahead and choose black. You can choose the black here. Go to your pencil tool. It's set to 14. I think that should be okay. So click on a new layer and now let's go ahead and draw the envelope. This is going to be a super simple envelope. Like you don't have to stress too much about making it perfect. I'm just going to roughly sketch it, sketch it like this and then make it like that. 
and go ahead and do this. We'll add side of washi tape. A message. It is a tool. I'm going to reduce this about 30 so that it's easy. Keep it at whatever is comfortable for you. Okay, that looks good. Let's add some shadow. Go back to your pencil and you can either use the pencil at an angle to create this effect or just draw it with pencil like this. That's cool. And now let's go ahead and add more florals to this. And now you have a copy of this here. That is this one. I'm going to uncheck that. Click and duplicate layer. I'm going to hide that one. Let's click on this one now and click on transform and we're going to bring this here and you can do many other things as well like you can rotate it or you can actually flip it so that it looks a little different like that and we're going to go ahead and put it a bit below over here that looks good click on done and obviously areas will be cut off that's okay click on continue now we'll go ahead and duplicate the one which we have here again duplicate layer hide this one click and put it so that it's somewhere below. Or also you can keep it up so that you can see only the green part in the bottom. Like that, you can make it a bit bigger, like this. And once you're done, click on done, continue. So now you want just the envelope. You don't want things to be hanging out, right? So for that, what you can do is, let's keep one of these, that is the one on this side here, click and hold so that it gets selected on top of the envelope. The rest of the things are going to be in bottom. Now click on a layer. Now create a new layer just below the envelope. So now you can go ahead and choose any other brush. I would go into basic and then hard round and I'll choose white color. You can choose it here and then just make sure you increase this obviously and then just color this off so that it hides all other flowers from this one here. Reduce this, it's too big. You can also go ahead and erase it by the way, but I think that filling this is a better idea. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill this up. That's cool. And as you can see, there's a bit of overlap. So I'm going to go here and now I'm going to erase it. Is this the one? No, that's this one. So we don't need it. Is this the one? Yes, I'm talking about here. So you can just increase it and make sure you delete this off here no no that is okay this one here so that it doesn't overlap the floral and looks nice okay so that's perfect and now we're going to add some bits and blobs to this so click on a new layer you can be on the top layer by the way let's go back to the color fill Let's choose some colors like red, pink or whatever and increase the size. Flow, let's bring it back to about 70s. And let's make some blobs, big, small, of various sizes. You can use the colors that you haven't used before. Reduce the size. Like that and now you can add something else that is you can add some watercolor splashes so click on a new layer let's go here our watercolor brushes and in here you'll see something called as watercolor wet splash so you can choose red and add some watercolor splashes here and there okay and there you go and you can add some black or some other color if you want Let's make sure we have this darker color, this blue. If you put more pressure, there's going to be more splashes. So now that we are done, I want to change the color of this floral over here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that particular layer. You can use this eye button to do that. And now click on this color hue saturation here and click on clip. You're going to use this hue saturation thing only on this layer and nothing else beyond that. That's why you need to clip it. Click on hue and saturation. So now we can adjust this here and you see the color changes. So you can change it to any color that you want. You can make it a bit brighter, greener or whatever. And I think I'm going to stick to that. That's minus 108. 
and then you have a different color as well and I want to add some more blotches over here so I'm going to go into my color fill again and make some purple ones because I feel like there aren't many of them okay that should be okay there you go and now what you can do is add a texture because when you add texture everything looks nicer so to get the texture you must have downloaded the texture already you can find it in the link in the description box below so once you have it you have to bring in the texture so click on this images here go to your photos and search for the texture and bring it in once you have it just rotate it so that it is 90 degree if it is not snapping here i'm just going to click on done you can go to this option here click on rotation snapping and click on 90 degrees so now when you try to go ahead and click on your this one it snaps automatically at 90 degrees so let's go ahead and increase this put it all the way up click on done now click on levels let's go here and click on multiply so that it gets like this and then you can reduce the opacity a bit so that it's a little bit brighter right like that and now you can see that your artwork has a really lovely texture you can just do this yeah and there you go your artwork is ready to be exported it was simple wasn't it so to export this you can click on share publish and export don't click on quick export not a nice option so publish and export and you can export it as whatever you want there are so many options here you can also by the way use a time lapse export which gives you a really nice video of what you have done so far you can click on export to do that i'm going to cancel that okay once you're done you're done and you can use your illustration to i don't know make greeting cards and lots of other things as well and that brings us to the end of this video and i hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well if you want to support this channel, you can buy me a coffee at coffee.com. You can find the link to do that in the description box below. By the way, I have some free printables on my coffee shop, which you can find in the link as well. So go ahead and check it out. If you do create something, tag me for sure on Instagram with print me some color or think beyond color. I would love to check it out. I guess I'll see you in the next video then. Bye-bye.